I always like the vibration match when people do in these single player games, like how he was trying to like stand up and it was like a little vibrating and then when he fell back down it just like did a little thump. It's it's pretty good. Yeah, I always like it when guys do that. Oh, we're in the forced walk section. Discourage to explore. Uh, there's nothing left anymore. It's all gone. Our house on top of the hill. Our house. She must be there. I can't stop now. So what you're saying is we need to explore. Yeah, we. I think I can finish this tonight. It looks like we're pretty yeah, close. Yeah, how many chapters are there? There are seventeen. Uh, okay, so I can't walk quickly, so I'm not even gonna bother exploring. Yeah, I think I'm pretty oh, sure the go. final chapter is gonna move quickly. Yeah, probably is. Okay, now I can move quickly. Uh, given what the final chapter is, yeah, I think it should move quickly. I mean, so far, chapter jumping has been relatively quick. Yeah, Ooh. past the first few, it seems to have been pretty fast-paced. Well, it's because the first few have open-world sections, you're kind of like, let me explore everything and... Whoa! Uh, let me explore everything and uh, get all the things and do all the side quests. Um, what is with these textures? I don't think they expected you to walk about. Yeah. Which is not because it's a video game, of course I'm gonna walk around. What if there's- Give me the capacity to walk around, I will walk around. What if, like, what if there's a file here I can pick up? What if there's the Skyrim helmet? Yeah. Especially because it's a snowy area, this is the perfect place to hide the Skyrim helmet. Behold, the land made of dandruff. Also kind of a shame that the game loses much of its color as you go in. Yeah. So there's this massive sinkhole. I wonder if there's anything actually you can do inside. Oh. Bam. Look at this massive hole. Please don't talk about your wife like that. Their guard is down. Union is running so smoothly that they're not monitoring it as closely. It's now or never. We should be able to free Lily before they know we're there. Once she's out, we'll be as good as invisible. Are you sure about this, Theodore? Someone as high ranking as you. If you get caught. I've made my decision, Kidman. I can no longer. Yeah, he kind of did. Yeah, okay. dude screwed everyone. No, I want to climb on top of the little thingy. This reminds me of one of my favorite mechanics in Nier Automata. Yeah. Just sliding down dunes. I, I thought you were going to say boar riding. I mean, moose riding, thank you. Oh yeah, it's no, you can ride boars as well in that one. Yeah, you can ride any of the uh, the animals. Where's the hidden collectible? I'm just saying, that was one of my favorite stupid little mechanics in that game, was just sliding down dunes. Oh my god, Resonance Point has been logged. So they wouldn't hunt down your daughter? She literally said that? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. St footsteps in the snow. At least it looks like slight footsteps. 
behold the dandruff footsteps. Look, there's just like the perfect place to hide, hide something dumb, and I'm convinced there is something dumb to find. And accurate. Can you go in that little tower? I will. Oh hey, it's my save point. <laughs> ah, look at all this. Well, this is, I guess, uphill towards the final boss fight. Let's hear you talk your way out of hell, Wallace. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so we talked about him. I told you to be careful with that thing, Sykes. Forget the sacrifice you made, Hoffman. It's giving so me. So you had to learn this way, but your office fucking sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's take one good look. No more slides. Only sadness. But at least they're cat. No more mirror. Oh, that's a lot of parts. No more shooting range. No more Can't exit. Range. Oh yeah, I managed to beat that while you were away. Oh good. Uh, I'm gonna just get a bunch of... Oh, you never out. did get the flamethrower. No, because I... I found flamethrower dudes because they started being regular enemies, and it was just like I spent my entire fucking ammo and I couldn't kill them. Just give up. Fitting. Let's get a new game plus, I guess. Ah, oh, third, fifth, there. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do with this. Upgrade the assault rifle. Eh, I, I don't have enough ammo for it to be worthwhile. Yeah, you never seem to get ammo for it, even though it's a forced weapon. Yeah. Detective Castellanos, always a pleasure to see you. I'm all just Speak gonna. For yourself. I'm gonna upgrade my health, I think. Do you have any keys? There's nothing wrong with you. Uh, no, I haven't found a single key this stream. Don't tell me what to do. Also, look Lady, how I do what I goddamn want. Lady, look how many fucking combat skills I have. What more do you want from me? I have all the combat skills. Oh yeah, and the ones you don't have, you don't really need. Oh, I can't do both uh, health upgrades. Just ever so slightly too poor. Oh well, can I get this? I wonder if there's a new game plus. Yeah, there is. Uh, I might as well just upgrade, like, this shit down here. Actually, I'll go here. So I got this. Our health recovery speed increased when near death status. Ah, let's do this. What do you have to say for the final encounter? I pray that this will be the last time I can help you. I feel the end approaching. You've been here for me the whole time. Both times. Maybe I've been with you longer than that. What do you mean? Who are you? I'm who I've always been. I'm who I'll always be. I'm who you turn to when you need inner strength. When you need me now. And when this is all over. When this is all over. Won't need me again. Because this will be over? 
or because I'll be dead. The same answer applies either way. Now, let's get you ready. Tatiana, please stop being a cryptic shit. I was almost waiting for him to say because there won't be a sequel. <laughs> because of a lack of funding? Because single player games cannot be properly monetized unless they're games as a service. Please tell me more about Star Wars. To be fair, Bethesda doesn't give a shit about that, so... They've never given a shit and I can actually appreciate that? Yeah. Bethesda's always kind of gone their own way, and somehow money comes to them. Yeah, it's surprising all the stuff they go away with. Anyway, here's our Prey mug. To be fair, that's a pretty good mug. Also, there's still that huge empty space! I know! It's running crazy. I won that fucking helmet. It is somewhere hidden. Actually, look it up, I probably- look it up what I missed it. Uh... Uh, you're within two... Collectibles. Thank you, IGN. You're you're worthless. I promise. What do you think you're doing, Myra? By protecting my daughter. You fool. The power she commands. You don't understand. No. You don't understand what I'll do to keep her safe. Ah! Damn you, Myra. You can't run from me. I'll find you. You did it, Myra. You kept her safe. That's all memories. Any luck finding anything? Uh, mysterious items. Okay, no, I found a proper page. Um. Let's see, there's a Quake Rocket Launcher, Corvo's Mask, Panzerhund, Vault Boy Bobblehead! Oh, that's the one I missed. Uh, in Chapter 6, you can find it in the storage room in the Marrow. Oh, okay, I missed that. I guess that's the only one. Um, uh, there's Doom Guy Doll, Elder Scrolls, uh, Trophy, and Mug. Yeah, no, that's it. That's okay. the one you're missing. Okay, it's just a follow one then. Oh well. New E+. Plus. Bear, you'll never get that Chivo. Seriously, Myra, why are you not wearing a shirt? There we go. Why are you fighting me, Myra? You don't understand. Well, tell me. Be safe here, happy, free from fear, free from pain. No, Myra, this isn't real. Pain is part of real life, and so is love. If she stays in here, she won't live a life free from fear. Because she won't be living a life at all. You don't understand. The things they did to her. I can protect her. No. Please, let me take her out of here. Let's do it together. We can be a family again. Let anyone take her from me! No. 
Please, Myra. We still have time. We can leave. Alas, poor wax wife. Oh, dad, me, and mom. Not just gonna be dad and me. Because dad will kill mom. But maybe one day dad will find a new mom. Do this! <gasps> Sebastian, shut your wife. Call the cops. I'm calling the cops. Wow, Sebastian, you've never been this accurate when I played you. <laughs> I mean, it was at point blank. He couldn't have missed. I have, you, you, though, you've done that. <laughs> yeah, have you seen me play? To be fair, that's not even your fault. Can't wait to play New Game Plus off stream with a mouse and keyboard. I can't wait to hear your clack percent run. Oh. I can't believe this is Attack on Titan. Yeah, come to find out, shooting her was maybe not the best idea. Think about what you're doing. I'm glad they gave her just big old floppy titties too. I'm kind of trying to figure out where, I guess the glowy bit in the center that she's holding? Oh my god, do I have any? I have, I have gas arrows. Uh, you have a bunch of explosive, or you had. I wonder if I need to like, break the shell in the middle and then shoot it. I'm not entirely sure what I meant to do because I'm not getting any feedback. Oh, there we go. I don't want to do this to you, Myra. Myra, please move your hand so we can get this over with. Myra, I just want this fucking done with, alright? Myra, personal here. Myra, it's been a really long game. Just want this to go. Myra, with. I have had the longest, shittiest day, and I do not need this right now. You did nothing for her. You wasted your life. Please don't talk about my drinking problem like that, Myra. And she wasn't even there for the drinking problem. It was right in front of you. Just, honey, just stand up so I can look you straight in the eyes. And shoot you in the and stomach. you wanna talk about not being there for your daughter, she intentionally went on an investigation that would... ...essentially lose her. Yeah. Ow. Honey, you are hurting me. Please. Honey, you are eating away all of my health. This is not okay. Honey, you are... This you are is literally hurting me. This is not how you have a conversation, honey. Please. Stand Please. still. I, could, I, I know the number of a good couples counselor. Alright? Please. Honey, please, I can't run through the entire arena and just picking up handgun bullets. We need to have a proper conversation. This isn't the way to go about it. Honey, I am doing something right now. I am trying to have a conversation with you and you're just not listening. So please, don't be like this. Please. I mean... You're not the one who trusted a psychopath. And she, she, she actually does though. She was fairly old when she got kidnapped. Honey, I'm out of ammo. I generally don't know how to continue this conversation. Please. We were... I was right there. I was being at that. I was at work. We actually did the same job. I don't know if you remember. You know that wedding photo we had where we had guns and we were like, Oh, we're the, we're the cop couple. You remember that part? Honey, I'm gonna be forced to knife you, please. 
I don't want to knife you. Your weak point is out of my reach. It probably spawns an ammo at the edge of the arena, if I'm going to be completely honest. It spawns health. Oh, Jesus! Oh, I need to break these things for ammo, okay. Finally breaking them does something. Other than catharsis. Honey, please. What do we deserve? We have been through some mighty shit, Myra. I don't think you understand the depths of the garbage we've been through. Honey, please don't guilt trip me. We deserve it. Yeah, honey, please don't guilt trip me. Uh, I already been through this phase of my life. I already have conquered my demons. Like you are not a demon. You're my wife. Seriously, Myra, please do not make light of my horrible PTSD. That's really fucked up and terrible. Honey, please don't criticize my aiming like that, please. Ow. It's not even my fault, honey, I swear. You, do, you don't want to hear me actually aiming. How do I even hit that thing? You don't... Oh, fuck that combo bullshit. Oh, man. Oh, so God, this is a long fight. Hey, lucky you got the explosive rounds back. Yeah, you know what you need to do now. Yeah. God damn it, Myra, stop this! Think about what you're doing! Ah. <sighs> Honey, why did you have to lose weight? Oh. Yeah, I'm... What the fuck even just happened? I don't even know, I'm just gonna shoot it with this. Christ, this assault rifle is garbage. Man, an automatic weapon in a survival horror game sucking? Who could have seen this coming? Oh, right. Yeah, that, the loss of that fucking explosive bolt fucked everything up. And I don't want to use the regular harpoon bolt uh, to break the barrier. There we go. Yeah, then we gotta wait for it to expand in size as she recovers. Damn, that's a lot of handgun bullets. Okay, so now... Also, you have no, like, dodge button, so it makes avoiding shit really fucking annoying. That even doesn't even do anything. We don't know if it does anything because there's no fucking feedback. Yeah, this game seems to have an issue sometimes of giving proper feedback. Uh, at least... The final boss fight, if this is the final boss fight, is consistent with being bad with the first game. Ow. Yeah, she kinda leads her shots, it seems like. Oh, I thought I could go behind because I saw a bunch of statues over there. Silly me. And much like she before she became a monster, she, she's really not big on getting close. Yeah. I mean, I'm not the one who fucked up an escape attempt. There we go. Wait, why was that so much smoother? Because I think I actually- OH GOD! <laughs> I'll talk. Oh jeez! Shotgun. I'm not sure I have enough ammo. Ass, ass. Okay, but this is pretty great. Okay, that's actually a pretty clever way of doing it. Oh, okay, that's where he hits you next. Okay. Cool. Honey, you've, you've definitely looked better in the past. Uh, so now you can make shit. 
Yeah, I wonder why. I would recommend maybe an explosive bolt. Yeah. And I'm also thinking of making... I have a lot of handgun bullets, so maybe I should just make sniper bullets. No, you have just enough for one. Yeah, I'm trying to head with it, I guess. Man, I'm glad you didn't get a flamethrower, though. Because it would be fucking useless. Yeah. So I need her to do a head and then... Yep, I don't know if that hit or not. Yeah, no, do I. Whatever. Yeah, I don't think the sniper pulled the head. Whatever. We're used to disappointment. It's gonna sound a little bit normal. Jesus! How many heads can you take Wait. there? I mean, to be fair, she's really wide open, so of course you're gonna make it take a lot of hits. Are she gonna puke spirals? Honey, she's my daughter too. Oh, now I have to save out for these guys? I believe it is that. Hey, maybe shoot it? Oh, I guess it's just bombs. I thought it was spawning dudes. No, it's spawning spiders. No, it does. If you, if you don't break it, it spawns spiders. Ow. Ow. You might wanna... On the bright side, you're kind of wrecking her shit. No. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, there goes one arm. Oh. Oh, piss. Oh, I guess that was stripped. Yeah, but there's a reason it's scripted, so... Yeah, so I can actually shoot it with my infinite ammo thing. Oh, you don't want to know what the sensitivity on this is. Ludicrous, I can tell. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, it's very generous. With the time, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have the syringe. Spider, come over here. Wait, you had fucking iframes in that stomp, but it saved you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I still need to shoot the blowy, but there. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Okay, seriously, the iframes on those stomps, though. Yeah. God damn it. Oh, okay. Did that get it? Oh, uh, well, cuz, yeah, you'd already fucked her up a lot on that side, I guess. I don't know. Maybe? Ooh! Well, I don't see any glowy bits anymore, so... Oh, there it is. It just retracted. Yes. No, I don't think I could. Yeah, I think you can only do it when she's leaning over. Ow. Yes. 
Do I have ammo of any? You have scoop? a bunch of uh, gunpowder. Oh god, there you go. I might as well just make the pistol. That seems to be the most reliable yeah. one. Yeah, well, I mean, it's efficient too. Now, so you got spiders. Yeah, the, these spiders generally seem to give. Oop. You hold the sack. Oh, I didn't reload. Damn it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only when she's leaning over. Damn, my frames are great. Yeah, you're actually better off not blowing up the sacks. Which is weird. Oh, it's a Sparta gun, yep. I like that it's still scrolling up showing you all the gunpowder you got. Yeah. Gunpowder for days. Which you could use. Yeah. Just like her alternating between the two is essentially making it difficult. That's more annoying how much waiting there is in this fight. Oh, got two hits in. No. Wow, okay, I got a lot of hits there. Yeah, that was really good. That was that was a good Yeah. Oh. Well, luckily you lingered in one spot for so long a shitload of them spawned there. Yeah. Oh wow, not a single hit there. It's to make up for the really good rotation you had earlier. Yeah. There we go. Are you ready for a cutscene? Gotta stop them for ammo. Uh, do you need to... Knife... Hail? It looks like her face will be in the next one glowing up. Okay. You Peruni. Oh, Holy shit, those eye frames. Lola. There we go. No, oh, are we not done? We have defeated symbolism. You should say, I'm sorry, honey, but we're getting a divorce. Guess who's a widower today? Oh no! Why did I spawn spiders? That was my only downfall. It is actually kind of hilarious how much those spiders trivialize the fight. Those spiders gave me more ammo than I found in the entire fucking game. Not just that, but the, the incredibly generous iframes from the stomp saved you from many hard-hitting attacks. Well, it saved me the first time and then I was just like, oh, I'm immune while I do this. I'm just gonna stomp everything and not care. That's what I mean, is like, there's no incentive to actually destroy the pods before they spawn spiders. Because uh, it's actually just more beneficial to leave the spiders around and stomp them for the iframes. Yeah, yeah. At least it's a slightly more interactive fight than the first game's 
final boss, if this is the final boss. It could be the, tr the true final boss is our daughter. Oh honey, you've made the mess again. when your wife becomes cream. It's okay, I can rebuild her. This is not what I meant when I said I wanted to be inside you. Myra. Honey, high five. That's no, fine. See, <laughs> she wore the ring. I wish he pulled his down in just a severed hand. Oh, it's actually her. Okay. To be fair, him going for the high five would be fucking hilarious, and I would love it. <laughs> That's a new game. Hell plus. yeah, I kicked your ass. <laughs> I guess we know who would fair. win in a fight, mom or dad. To be fair, I would like a, a horror game with a protagonist who is not meant for horror. You mean like Sebastian? Please. Like Leon Kennedy. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. We cured her with bullets. Okay. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to. We cured her by killing her. No. I couldn't control myself. Wife, what is this face you're making? I did the right thing. Thank you. You did the right thing by viciously murdering me. So glad you're alive. You have to. Lily. Get her out of here. I'm getting us all out of here. Come on. It's too far. Leave me. Just get Lily. Nope. Leave me. Come on, he's on. I leave her. I'll leave you again. You have to. No, you can, you can just carry her. She's not that heavy. Just piggyback her. No, it's fine. She just needs to shed some weight. Just get rid of those ugly giant earrings of hers. I'll follow. She's lying. She's lying through her teeth. Look at her eyes. You know she's lying. Lily needs you now. Please. She needs a family. Just at the end of this game, Sebastian gets out of all this. Guess who's single and ready to mingle? I mean, it's not like he has been through so many physical torture and trials. He could carry her up. Like, she doesn't look that heavy. He doesn't look that tired, even though he should be. Also, they're inside of a brain simulation thing. Oh, no, wait, there's a ledge. He couldn't get her up the ledge. I'm sorry. That's a co op mechanic. Could have cost her sorry ass. Oh, good thing my well, she's still there. I was about to say, good thing my wife is still there. <laughs> Rip wife. She actually is. Hey, press, press, press. I have F to wave. No. Press F to pay respects to cream wife. I miss milk wife. I miss her already. Can't believe Milk Wife is fucking dead. Oh, and he sprints, he kinda hops up, that's kinda cool. I never tested that because I've always been slinking. Can he jump the fence? No. There's no problem for the fence. Okay, so in oh, they put a fence around the fucking house so you can't go into the backyard. Oh, hey, look, a car. Oh, they can't climb the- Oh, I- I-, I Get I a new car. Nice. This is a good car. Okay, but well, what's the view like? In the house. <laughs> no, I can't leave this place yet. Ah, oh, the swing has physics. Has a lot of physics, holy shit. Hey! Wait, what's this? Can I, I can't knife the... the swing. 
Well, you're in a sacred zone. Ah, oh, fine, I'll go into the house. Let us go grasp our daughter. Okay, but first we gotta come in through the front door. Whoa. So! I was looking forward to this. Um. We've reestablished contact, sir. Where is he? We can't get an exact location. Wait, the core's been located. The marker is approaching her. Excellent. Instruct the marker on how to reestablish the core. I hate to be the bearer of bad Look news, at this sir, evil motherfucker. The environment has taken too much damage. Even with the core back in place, total collapse of Union is imminent. So be it. We still have STEM. We can start again. But we need the core. She's too valuable to abandon. Have the med team prepare for core extraction. How much time? Depends on how fast he can get her to the extraction point. They're close. Shouldn't be long. Med team in place and standing by. Oh, they're gonna kill him? Have the med team turn mm -hmm. the marker. He served his purpose. Yes, sir. Shit. Kid, call your man and give him instructions. Well, I guess this is it, kid. Kid, did you hear me? Yeah, I did. Is that insubordination I'm sensing? <laughs> you can't. It's time for the him. kid. Yes, we can. To become the man. Will. Once he's back in the real world, he'll become a liability. Now, call him and tell him where the extraction point is. Come now, kid. He signed his death sentence the moment he entered STEM. I mean, the moment he was thrown into STEM. Do as I yeah, he kind of. You'll be signing yours as well. No. Oh. A shame that you'd attempt to betray us. I had such hope for you. See, she's using a mouse. <laughs> uh, fucking bullshit. <laughs> oh! Yep. So, you play as Kidman. Oh, I have limited ammo. Oh, it's no, wait, it's probably infant reload. It's infant reload, okay. So, what do you think? Well, I'll tell you what I think when I'm for the run. So far, I'm stuck in one position. Oh my god, Kidman, you can't shoot for shit. She can in a cutscene. I mean, at least they can't shoot for shit either. Yeah. All security personnel report to the control. All security personnel. See, as long as it's in a cutscene, she's. So yeah, Lily. this part. She's gotta be in her room upstairs. Let's go meet our daughter. Oh my god, it's a collectible. Yep, the mysterious toy. Okay, so there was more than the pit boy left. Wow, he. She, look, she wanted to live a happy life, but then the, then the dishes are done here. Wow. You expect her to do the dishes? I'm sorry, Everybody I haven't finished. Sebastian's job. So there's gonna be like switching between Kidman and Sebastian as we open doors. You'll see. Okay. 
Okay, but what about my room? Oh, it's all locked. It's all full. What about the restroom? Hey, nothing's gonna be going on in there. Wow, a way to bring up fresh wounds, Torpid. You're covered in them, dude. Honey, sleeping like that is not good for your back. Also, you need a blanket, otherwise you'll catch a cold. Like, it's a miracle Sebastian isn't just seeping blood out of every pore at this point. Lily. My sweet little girl. My adorable babby. It's me, Lily. I'm here. Isn't it really you? Shh. It's really me. I'm here to take you home. You mean we're not home? No, baby. But we will be soon. So tired. Go back to sleep. I think you'll really dig the new place. Be safe again. Myra. I've got her. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I can't. Yes, you can. I'll carry both of you if I have to. But no. I'm not... Mobius has to be stopped. Screw Mobius. We've lost too much time to them already. We can get away. Just the three of us. We'll go someplace where they'll never find us. There's nowhere to hide. They're everywhere. Lily will always be in danger. Unless I destroy them. Okay, fine. I'll wait. Once Morbius is gone, It doesn't we'll... work that way, Sebastian. It can only be done from inside. STEM is more than just this place. All of Mobius are connected to it via the chips in their heads. Once I assume the power of the core, I can transmit a signal just as Union collapses. A signal that can take Mobius down once and for all. We're, we're finally together again. There's no other choice. This is part of the plan. It always has been. I'm sorry. Myra. Shh. Just promise to take care of the little one. Myra, K Kidman is literally killing all of them now. It's fine. She has infinite ammo. Her mother loved her. Myra. There's so much I want to say to you. I've been watching you all this time. I know how you've suffered. That's weird. What they did to you. What I did to you. You didn't ask for any of this. You've been into hell twice for it. It's time for you to leave now. To live the life that was taken from you. I appreciate you accidentally bumping the controller. No, I was just like messing with the analog sticks waiting. <laughs> you have to go now. <sighs> yeah, this bit is dragging on a little bit. Live your life, Sebastian. Be happy for once in your life. It's fine, you have at least one person you've met who hasn't died yet. That isn't your daughter. Yeah! Okay, so this is basically a rail shooter. Yep. Like, I am so glad I got to experience this bit with you, because when I read about it, I'm like, oh my god, yes!
I too like Virtual Cop Kidman. It's also a nice change of pace. Especially after that boss fight you went through. Actually, what am I doing? If I don't have to move, I don't have to, like... I'm gonna use my mouse. Shoot this man in the ass forever. Why do they keep running to this one pole? I mean, I guess it's scripted like that. Oh, now I can move, okay. I'm sure I have to go in this dark hallway. No, never mind. No, that's a door, thank you. Oh, so god, just everything about this place screams evil villain lair. I mean, it is essentially... Mopius is basically not Umbrella. I mean, yeah, just without the zombies and instead... brain shit. Yeah. Wow, nice. But yeah, I, I like that the whole, uh, the control chips plot point is coming back to bite them in the ass. Yeah. No, I do like, like that part. I mean, it's not like the worst plan, it's more just like, I... They kind of, somebody has to sacrifice themselves at the end thing. Yeah. And also everyone dying, being in service of Sebastian getting redemption. Could have had your own game. Why? After all you've seen, all you've done, why the crisis of conscience now? Is it for the detective? For the child? No. It's for me. Think about what you're doing, kid. STEM is needed. Imagine it! I'm glad how this completely makes sense if you played her DLC because she got really fucking pissed in it. And she also went through hell, so yeah. she has good reason. Yeah. Damn, they are prepared for anything. And it's gonna take a long time to get through that door. No going back now. Hope you were right, Myra. I just like all the bars filling up and all the numbers changing. Yeah, I mean, once again, if Myra's plan works out, Where do I go? she's kind of got it made. All right. With Myra staying behind. Just, just once again, it's time for the kid to become the man. Okay. That's how it's meant to be. I'm counting on you. Oh, I was about to, like, go to your room, so, like, wait, I have to turn around in the house, and I was like, oh, no, wait, I have the other room. The one with the save point. I thought she meant my room in the house. Point. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's like the start of The Last of Us, only at the end of the game. <laughs> That's about how I feel. I wonder if something else will have fallen from me. No, you're gonna fall down on your ass and slide down. It's the Sebastian way. Just surf on our daughter. I still love Meat Slide. It is still fantastic. Yeah, I love that. Please, just give me a fucking break. Please, I just want to be happy. Is that too much to ask for? So many people have died so I could be happy. This shit is gonna haunt me forever and it's gonna haunt Lily even more. No, she's asleep, she's not seeing any of this. It's fine. Nah. I just hope that Sebastian has the number of a good therapist. It's not too late to stop this kid. No, it is! If she'd stop now, you'd kill her. I <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Otherwise, the punishment for your betrayal will be legendary. It will be legendary. I'm going to be legendary, alright. 
legendary for taking I hate down. this. This dialogue is so bad. A hive mind only works with a queen that controls it. Join us or die? Well, guess what? There's a third choice. And that's fuck you! That's <laughs> 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 okay, that's really good though. I like Kidman, she's really good. Time to blow up your chip. <laughs> what? Joke's on you, fuck boy. You thought that I was just flying by the seat of my pants here? I took my chip out three days ago. No matter! You'll die today. Damn! Fucking Kidman doing work. Also, he looked like he was using a Huawei smartphone. We're almost out of time. Um. Time for the final virtual cop section. Gonna go around her back. Oh hey. Coming message. Incoming massage. Okay, but will we get out with the cat? This is important. We better. I need this cat in my life. Cat? Cat! No, not my office! I collected so many nice things! Let me tell you about my Skyrims! <laughs> All my collectibles gone! It's like near all over again. Everything yes. I've amassed go turns to dust. Yeah, but you know what it's worth in that game. Yeah. Lily. Sebastian. I love you both. Now you'll be safe. I love you both, but only one of you shot me in the face, so you know. No, it's fine. She, she knows she deserved it, okay? She's not gonna go to the cops. I hate it. <laughs> yes! You did it, Myra. My god, somebody not calling her Kidman? Or Kid. Some form of Kidman. Man, they w tore through that door really fucking fast. Now just everyone's really fucking slow. And it's fine though, because all they're doing is freeing her. They're about to get screwed royally. Just falls down and everybody's dead on the other side already. Kick that shit. I mean, is that the whole point? Yeah. <laughs> Whoop, everybody's dead. Oh, hey, look at that. All of. The oh, no, she overloaded all their brains. Oh, hey, look at this fuckboy. Wow. He also had the chip installed. Doesn't he feel stupid now? This I is really cathartic. I honestly thought he was about to show her the middle finger. <laughs> this is incredibly cathartic. Also fucking brutal, holy shit, mass murder. I mean, he deserves it. Take it easy. Hello, Here's new husband. Home. Lily. Where's Lily? I need oh no, milk pants. Stand over there. Legs like jelly. <laughs> Pins and needles everywhere. Uh, so, yeah. We gonna save our daughter. But isn't she a brain- at least in the last game, the core was a brain in a jar. Oh, okay, they changed it in this game. Behold dad strength! I mean... That was wholly unnecessary. Yeah, it wasn't really that. It was gonna open anyway, Sebastian. Now you got stuck. And now it's never gonna close again. Oh my god, Sebastian, please be more gentle. Lily, I'm 
I'm so glad you're back, but when we get out of here, I'm teaching you how to dress properly. Jesus Christ. What is this outfit? Uh, is it really you? Yes, Lily. It's really me. I... I was having the worst nightmare. Shh. I know, Lily. But you're awake now. So was I, Lily, but my entire life. The nightmare's over. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. It's all over. That's right, Lily. Everything's gonna be Daijobu. I'm not still inside there. I'm just thinking I'm. Yeah, here's me referring to the plot twist in the first game. Or a potential plot twist. Because they left that like ambiguous at the end of the first one. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, so, Lily, you might want to close your eyes as we walk through these hallways. No reason, just we're playing a game. Good. <laughs> good, she's not looking anywhere, that's good. Uh, why do you say that? Because they're gonna walk through hallways full of corpses with basically mooshed brains. Oh yeah, that is, yeah, they kind of had their brains melted. Yeah. Uh, so I think there's something after the credits. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, but while the credits go, I will be back in just a second. Oh man. Toshihiko Tsuji. Well, that was a nice adventure. That's where you have to listen to the trailer song. Well, that was a nice game. Um, definitely. De the first one is definitely scarier. Um, I guess this one's just like easier to play. Yeah, no, it's weird to compare them because they're just like so damn different. Yeah, it was a bit more action oriented and in, like general there were very few spooky moments. Um I kinda like the chaotic nature of the first game. Just like getting thrown everywhere and just having no clue what's going on. This one has far less mystery. That's I mean, it's it's much more in line with, like, Resident Evil 4, actually. Um, yeah... I don't know, I... I like how it plays. There are a few, like, very low-level things that I don't like, uh, like the crafting recipes and stuff like that. Um... But like, I also, I generally don't like, think it's horror -y, the way it's framed, because it's just like how the levels are framed, how the encounters are framed, and how the story and characters are, it's just, I guess it's more approachable, which is why I think most peop more people like this game than the previous one. Uh, like, like, once again, going back to what I said, like, this is very much, this seems more like the Resi 4 clone that people wanted, yeah. uh, than Evil Within 1 ended up being. Yeah. God, this is such a weird arrangement. Yeah. I don't hate it, it's just like, huh. But yeah, this is definitely like... Weirdly enough, I didn't like Dead Space 1, I like Dead Space 2. Um, I like both games in this one though, I like both Evil Within 1 and 2. It's just that they're, yeah, so, they're just so different. different beasts. 
I also yeah, like. No, they are com- I, I like comparing it to like Mass Effect One and Mass Effect Two. Like Mass Effect One was this clunky but more RPG thing, and then Two was this smoother but like more actiony game. Yeah, I mean, also Mass Effect One was much more deliberate and thought out with all of its plot points, whereas Two was all about the drama. Yeah. Uh, for Mass Effect. I feel like the first game in The Evil Within had much more thought put into like, like what each locale was meant to represent and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And this one is more like, hey, here are the beats we want. Like the, it's it's about the this one's about the moment to moment beats. It's not about like putting together a full picture. It's kind of like, okay, here's your first beat. Like get the artist guy. Here's your second big beat. Get the priest guy. And here's your third beat. Get like your wife. And... It's just, like, completely differently framed, I guess. It's also, I really... I, I liked that in the first game, it was you being stuck in a situation that existed regardless of what you were doing. And in this one, everything is in service of um, Sebastian. Like, everybody dying, everybody acting the way they do... Uh, all the story beats, everything is like really just in uh, in service of Sebastian's character progression. Yeah, no, this is this is very much about Sebastian overcoming his demons. Yeah, whereas the first game was you're Sebastian, you're stuck in a situation you don't know, and that situation is kind of like existing without you, and you're just powering through it. Whereas this, like, you you have far more agency, like, you are pushing everything forward. Um, you decide to go where you want to go, you decide what you want to do, like Sebastian is in the universe deciding what his objectives are. In the previous I, one, be, you're more led on. To be fair, that was the entire point of your mission in this game. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying, like, from the ground up, it's built up differently. Yeah. Um... I still think that Kidman bit is really fucking cool. Like, I thought it was really cool when I read about it, and just seeing it in action, it was really neat, the way they handled it. Yeah, I think... it's It wraps up relatively nicely. Like, the there it only leaves two loose ends right now. One loose uh, end... It's funny it, you say that. Okay, I was about to say, the only two loose ends, not counting Joseph, are... What the fuck was the ghost about, exactly? And where... Uh, Anima was very much about you. Yeah, but, like, I don't know what she represented from the previous game. Like, why is she a weird jellyfish ghost, I guess. I don't know. See, that's the part. And the other part I don't know is whether Sykes made it out of STEM. But if he did, it doesn't really matter because he probably has a chip and now he's dead. Yeah, uh, he's kind of fucked no matter how you hash it. Yeah, so he Uh, actually didn't survive. There is something more I know about that I'm pretty sure is an after credits thing. Well, we'll see. I don't mind having the credits roll through, though. Also, I really do like Kidman's entire character arc. I mean, she's very it's she's it's very good in the DLC because she starts off with this like, okay, I'm gonna do this like mission I've been given, and then as you progress through the DLC, she's increasingly like, oh, if my mission succeeds, that's actually fucked up, and I really shouldn't do it, and I'm gonna try and sabotage it. Which is where she got her little uh, kernel of um, rebellion from. So it's not like out of place in this game. Yeah. Like when when she says like it's about her, not about Sebastian and Lily. Like yeah, she genuinely thinks that. Well, because yeah, she also went through hell. Yeah. They are all good game. Um. It's going to be interesting seeing whether it does well enough for another game. God, I hate, like, AAA credits. Uh, because they're so long? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people on the marketing staff, so... And the business staff. It's... <laughs> it's not just marketing and business. I know, I know, it's QA, it's just like a million people involved. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of hands involved, a uh, shitload of staff, and also they usually list staff for all the different fucking arms, like ZMX Europe. I mean, they had to market the game in Europe, you know, so... Yeah, look at look at all these fucking managers, like, look at this. 
personal assistant to president. Revenue Just look is at all this management staff. Application support analyst. That's probably the most frustrating thing is that all they mention are the managers, like the the higher ups. Um, I mean, if these are like Zenimax arms, that's probably like the entire office. Yeah, true. I mean, yeah, no, Zenimax is straight up. From the ground up, they start as a bunch of mu uh, movie execs making a publishing studio. Yeah. Uh, it's why they're so fucking shady! I mean, they're a corporate as all fuck, so... Yeah, they are aggressively corporate. So, after credit scene. Oh, wait, we have to see this, too. Ooh. So... Congrats, Lily, on your new mom! Uh, doll mom is a bit weird and inappropriate. It's a little fucked up! Yeah. It's a little on the nose, but yeah, actually, no, they don't get together. Thank god. Thank god they don't No, get it's actually very good that they don't, and also she definitely looks like Ada Wong. Oh? So what terrible accident will befall Sebastian now? Keep your eyes on the road, Sebastian. Please. Just in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Well, we haven't seen anything of Ruvik, so I don't know, maybe he'll appear. I see it's a perfectly happy ending. What? No, I don't... Really? No, it's not, thank the god. The fuck do you think? Of course it's not gonna be a happy ending. The STEM R reboot. Oh no, wait, that's... Oh, this is like ages after what happened. Remember that thing you mentioned? The guy? Ruvik? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Hey, I got the achievement against all odds. He's maybe a little bit pissed that he wasn't the one to take down Mobius. Carrying over certain things from a previous playthrough. Okay, I, what I mean is he's more than a little pissed. <laughs> You'll be able to use it starting from chapter 3 when playing New Game Plus, okay. Ah, oh, the professional author. If only those days could have gone on forever. Code Rex Fashion Stream, okay. Director outfit. I just want his classic costume. Oh, outfit cannot be changed in classic mode, why? Okay, we got the good costume. Oh, the Magnum, nice. So you get a lot of nice, nice neat goodies. Brass knuckles. Yup! Finally. That's right. Fuck yes! Off. Yes! Fucking finally. This is what I want. <laughs> Fuck everything else. We're playing through this again. New game plus. Fucking black bar Fucking mode. LP it in new game plus. Fucking finally. You know how pissed I was that I couldn't like set this when I started playing the game? <laughs> you have no fucking clue. Well, there you go, bear. Fucking... All, all they're I'm fucking... They're should, fucking right it's the ultimate reward. You should just do an LP of this, but in New Game Plus in letterbox mode. <laughs> oh, thank fuck. Just piss off everybody. Um... Uh, but yeah, so basically, y your boy, whose name I forgot already... Ruvik. Uh, yeah, Rivik uh, is is a little bit pissed that uh, he wasn't the one to end Mobius, and that's the dangling plot thread outside of uh, your buddy. Okay, so Sykes is definitely dead though. It's under HUD. There we go. 
Toggle cinematic letter boxing, just like in the good old days. There we go. How does it feel, Bear? Uh, it's perfect. Yeah, you can select any difficulty mode, Bear. Ah, oh, okay, so this is a little too save games I have. Uh, yeah, I mean, but I, I would hold off if you actually do have any plans for New Game Plus. No, I just wanted to check something. Okay. Ah, oh, okay, this classic mode is... For, I want to see how they describe classic mode because I want to know what it is. Exactly. So I guess a new game. Yeah. So I guess in this one it's... Classic mode. Special mode for old school trial horror fans. There are no auto saves, the number of saves is limited, and neither weapons nor skills can be upgraded. No! Holy shit, how is that playable? I refuse! Wow. That is. Fucking no! That is brutal. No! I will keep this. I will keep in mind that this exists, maybe, for some time. Keep it in mind to never play it. Holy shit, um, well yeah, that's the Evil Within 2, um, I might actually do a few more streams of this and just check out New Game Plus mode and mess around a bit, um, but yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening, folks, and see you around, bye bye.